be seen. And then instead, it's actually been the offensive stack trying to make their way over through B. Wardell throwing some shots over, gets a little bit of damage, able to stay alive. And Sabrosa Impulse. has also snuck his way into B. So an opportunity here for Chaos to really unfold, and Sabrosa's just trying to deny the rotation. So this is going to be a free take with TSM winning the engagement in Garage for a plan at the C site. And that's even with the grab coming down as well. TSM, well, rather, Immortals trying to slow that one down. Might have been from TSM. There's going to be a lot of confusion today, guys. I'm just going to warn you right now when there's two Astras and there's like a ton of stars on the map, you don't know who the stars belong to who. We'll see because right now, round three timing as well. Wardell is certainly looking at that one with envious eyes, but they'll have some gunshots massively. That's going to be a free kill for sure and a heal as well. Shot of you can tell is really feeling himself today. <laughs> I mean, just like we had talked about with Android, these are plays that we expect to see from someone like Android. And now, as FSC specifically talking about Shot Up, we're just getting aggressive to the middle of the map. His teammates are helping him be freed up to make that play a little bit safer. And once the fr the first blood comes through, I mean, you already see it. JC standing is he just essentially just denying A. Yeah, absolutely. And he knows that his presence is required, it seems. There's no one coming through a lobby, so they're shot up, able to find his second elimination. Ganks is spamming with the Aries for another in TSM. Really not a lot they could do here stuck in C-Law. Oh, my eyes are dull. Yeah, that might be the round already. TSM's, you know, in a lot of trouble here. This is meant to be their gun round. They dropped a bunch of weapons. C has been completely nullified here. Shop's going to lead the way. He'll walk through. He doesn't even care if he dies. He's collecting kill. Never available. Cutler for one, and that's going to be it. The kind of good things going here for King Solomon is really my question. Oh, JC Stanley even getting aggressive with his own. Recon bolt there to free him up for the early operator. Shot up another. That one over from A Sewers, and... TSM are being bottlenecked in their spawn. And that's the thing, even on TSM's eco here, where, you know, they're typically supposed to be the team, Jace is starting nice to get out of the way there, not dying. Over to Brax, who was into mid, and possibly a flawless here. I mean, Brax would have to hit an incredible share shot, and they got to push him as well. But the result stands out in your mind, looking at an overtime oh in round of 128. So the fact that they can kind of come through, get their tempo oh. established, two quick kills again for Immortals, and TSM just caught out on individual islands, no chance to respond. Everyone's pushing up here though, Wardell surely gets a kill, there it is, Jason Stani misses. TSM bring one back, and that was looking bad by the way, because Wardell looked like he was going to get timing, he actually unscopes, and JC Stani probably would have killed him there, but JC misses the shot, and then Wardell punishes, so TSM still technically in this round, but they're getting, they're getting hard pushed by IMT every single round. Shot up walking in again, they're just gonna annihilate Cutler, and that's gonna be the 4v2. TSM have to think about saving. And with the Operator, you feel like that's for, uh, for sure. But there it's will be a time. split up. They're trying to make a move over to find a couple of isolated kills, and maybe there's an opportunity on De Rossi in the corner. Holding his own for now, waiting for a P. Wardell will be seen, not going to get the quick scope. That's the operator down for both squads. Rossi still stuck in the corner. Brax comes around. Oh no God. chance in Rossi. Well, the Reyna player. So maybe an opportunity to keep working through the middle map for TSM. But the weaponry, the arsenal, and the fact that they're in a 5v4, not great news. Although, shot up does fall. So, okay, an opportunity. And that kill is actually pretty deep into B. So maybe they can work their way through the front. Shot was on low HP as well. Brax has come to JC Sunny. This is doable, Brax! Oh my goodness. Might be saving the round here. Two kills for TSM. Picking up some gums. Nero Thip as well. The ultimate coming through and for Immortals. Two players alive and they gotta hold on, but they are nowhere close to the A site. TSM know it because they cop the ultimate. They can see exactly where Immortals are and this will be a free frag. So they can. But TSM. And this is smart as well. They're gonna try and push chemicals. They'll keep going for it. Cut with a nice one. Have a little bit more competitive overall. JC Stady still playing aggressively through a long season. Shoulder gets the kill on the drone. Pixel peak, essentially. But that's not going to slow down TSM. If anything, they've sped up Joke's a little bit. Over. We're going to go dead. into the astral phase, seeing if he can find some information. It's going to be put down from the expensive utility to get in. So, Broza, run it back. Not going to find too much value. Nebula clearing subspace, and JC Stady Rossi pick it up. A lot of information for Rossi around the corner. Well, no, like, it's not going to happen because I'm always will wait for it. You know, the retake for this, this nice. drone. Hunter's Fury is at least going to open this up. Keeps it does respond, though. Keeps the numbers for a time in favor of the defense. And now the spike is making its way on. Gangsta and Rossi still find two, though. And now it's down to drone. Angle for the first. Not going to know the second was right next door. Just to back away as there's a gravity well placed. So now it's going to lead to all the forces their way on. Or down to find one. Wants the second, but Gangsta bullet hosing through. Able to find two, Rossi another double, and everything comes down to Sabrosa, and <laughs> he 
Well, little baby arms can't quite pick up the weapons. Of Nature really highly as far as what he actually brought to this oh, team yeah. overall. And drone. Rossi says, hold I'll my adult them. beverage. <laughs> and Wardell goes down once more. Looking really positive for an immortal ninth round, but TSM do have weapons to work with here. So an opportunity maybe to try to find an opening and get the 4v5 in play. JC standing missing a shot through garage means that TSM have gained a little bit of ground to work with. It might be the force of star on the on the ground as well. So I don't mind that coming through from Sub Rosa, you know, trying to really push the operator off the line, maybe force star to be used. They're starting this is a bit of a rare maybe shot up there on the side. This is still available, won't use it. We'll get punished, but it's still immortals coming out. Big TSM just down at one. Sub Rosa's gotta do it all. And he doesn't have the oh, and a little bit more about everything on the field at the moment. Immortals have not fallen at all. Gangs no pulls up the ADS, finds oh, the dude. bird. Chemical inside the cyber hitch, making a lot of noise. Maybe an opportunity to catch the players off guard. He spams for a second, but Drone is there to respond. And the fight does go down. So he gets to have a post fight, but it's a 2v4. Now make it all up to one. And Drone for the 1v4, not going to find anything at all. Barrier for success with it anywhere. Shot up early. Empress finds one. Able to dismiss. <laughs> so away. Stays safe. Cakes are there to support with the Hunter's Fury for a second. Now the trades are even. So TSM with the spike still in hand has an opportunity to get the spike planted. I that know will exactly. indeed be the case. Neural theft will also be spent. Cutler setting up shop with a couple of the stars around to kind of make life difficult for immortals on the retake. It's a really big round for TSM so far. 3v3 into side post plant. We've got Ash still alive as well. Cutler's going to go down, but there's a Hunter Sphere. Drone has to survive. He's actually really deep on site, so he's not going to be able to ult. This could be really bad. He's down. Chemicals just spamming through, just up to Brax. Finds the first. Knows the second has to be sitting close towards where the spike is. That's the spike. Can't place it, but Chemicals pushes through. Finds the elimination, and Immortals will exit the first half. I will say. They're initially going to be tested over towards A. Drone's going to see a lot of information. Stockard goes down. The jet dash in for JC Danny gets him off guard. And Shadow oh. finds the second clean take. Immortals will have a plan. Yep, so it's going to be 5v3. They've barely Let's taken damage. I mean, JC Danny takes a couple of licks there, but it's nothing really to write home about. And even then, like, Immortals don't slow down. Chemicals gets Brax on the flank, and it looks like the Mortals are even trying to push through the the, the link. They are they are going to get punished. This is maybe not a good idea for the Mortals, but they're so confident, they're so alpha today, they don't care. TSM's just down to ward out now. This would be a one v three. Spam pistol shot be through. Dashing on forward does find the first. Still pretty a health. Pops over to a weapon that only has four ammunition, though, so that will be a bit of a. Um, this is a GG go next. I think for TSM, you know, we talked about the fact that they don't play Haven. Um, they haven't played Haven since JBL, so all of Stage 1, they didn't play any any Haven at all. They banned it, was a perma ban. I think after this map, you know, what are they doing here? The best they can do is share up to some armor. At least Wardell's going to get a nice shot here, so maybe TSM can still be in this. What's the response, though, from Shot Up right over from the front doors of these? So four before we go, and really not an opportunity to collect that weapon as well. I mean... It's just so deep, but the first kill is appreciated for TSM's defensive efforts. Rotating over to C is Immortals. Brax, timing of this shoulder is going to have to be good. And, well, he catches a lot of information, but not a lot of damage to really be put in. So here comes the take. Immortals on their way forward. Should lead to a pretty quick plant. TSM are trying to make numbers occur as fast as possible. Good angle for JC. Finds himself one Rossi a second. And now it's just down to two more players for TSM. One of them being Drone, who's already down to low HP. Brax stuck over by the garage. And Immortals should be able to get a plan here. Well, they don't trust it yet. Oh, okay, JC oh, starting. Yeah, he thought Brax was around the corner and Rossi. Wow. It almost actually Spike pushed him planted. out of the same level as Rossi. Smoke fades away. So Rosa does confirm the first blood and has the hot hands to keep it healthy. Shot up was considering trying to challenge, but backs down. Now has the angle over towards the defensive door. And with that also responds to Sabrosa still playing aggressively through the elbow. So 4v4, Wardell inside who can respond to one. Is he going to expect the second from behind though? Not going to make a difference because Shot up is able to find the elimination. So now does anyone know that Chemicals is actually going to be playing through Ruka? Apparently Brax does. The trade's looking favorable. 1v1. Game in the corner, playing around with traps, oh. gets the jump peak. Fuck. The first one through. Small so will make life a little bit difficult. Ooh. Wardell's able to find the first shot hiding in the corner. Sabrosa, another. The Sheriff's lighting things up for TSM. Spike's looking to find it. Cutler's able to find a third elimination. The wall's only blocking one side, and JC Stanley's able to isolate the other. Rossi now moving forward, gets stacked on, but JC Stanley for a third. This would be a full ace and a 1v2. Still has some utility to play with. The wall gets broken. 
twice. My one is able to get Holy. the 1v2. He will actually catch information on the Cutler, over. but nobody saw Wardell. And as he peeks out of lamps, he finds one elimination, but Cutler being isolated also falls, leaving us with a 4v4 Five and a post planted. point set up for the side of Amorphs. It's a good recon though. I think the recon actually saw a lot of loss. He could be implicated there. It's a bit of a... I was going to say a crossfire setup, but unfortunately the wall was trying to be placed. It was the youthful coming through. Gang on his own now. This should be DSM coming through. The shock that lands as well and drone. I'll clean it up. Can Sub Rosa do something here? There's a really great spot. This flash will catch a lot. He's been caught with the Util out. Timing from Rossi will collect not only an orb, but possibly a free gun as well. The rest of IMT just there. The resurrection's available. This is great for Immortals. Nebulous will keep things safe. Nowhere will be a defensive run. lockdown to come through. Unrestored for Ginks just to delete it. That'll be fine. Also finds some information and damage onto another. Wall is also placed. Chemical is able to find a Sheriff kill onto Wardell through the backside of the defensive doors. So for TSM, this 3v5 retake situation, you're largely looking at Braxton Cutler through Elbow. They're going to have to find some sort of an opening because everyone knows where Drone is currently. And these Nebulas are just not going away anytime soon. Everyone from Immortals holding corners, just watching each other for trades. And TSM... If you're going to make a move, you're going to have to go sooner rather than later. Otherwise, this might just be playing for exits because the time is running out on this play. And Brax is giving up leaving. the angle through elbow, so they're going to fail. I think Immortals are respected as well. I mean, shot up looks like they're going to chase. No, they are going to chase. Holy. Okay, they're going to do this. Taking down Cutler is just Drone. Does Drone swing for it? Is he trying to save the rifle here? I mean, Immortals won't let him. That's going to be a nice timing to at least pick up a couple wow. of last kills. Drone will make He takes the angle. Tries to stay up. Shot up from the hookah. Able to go for the showstopper. Finds one. And how about the shock bolts for Gangsta? Isolating Wardell could not get through. Shot up already through elbow. And this is going to be a very difficult 3v5 retake for TS7. They are very aware of that. They're going to go all the way back over towards the A site and try to save. That looked like a possible 900 IQ grab coming through from Immortals as well. I do wonder if Wardell tries to dash in, he probably actually gets pulled back. So he would need to go further to try and dash past it. But if he goes too far, he's going to be open to all the players pushing up long. So he was stuck and dies to the shock dart coming through from Gangster. And so Immortals kind of just get everything there. They get both kills onto both members on B. A free plant. Wall comes in and TSM are not even going to attempt it. Cutler's going to try and defend himself over towards heaven. Chase is standing on the chase and he will get a free kill so far. Oh, and he gets oh my a god. Second? Oh my god, he gets two. How is that allowed? I mean, it's not allowed to have it, but how does he ever manage that? Rax now by himself is just trying to stay alive through this. He will immediately stick for a plant. Rosa Flash comes through, oh, finds flash. one, but traded. So now it's down to the last couple of members of TSM. Three more still existing around the site, but Immortals will get the spike planted for a post plant setup. All right, well, TSM, do you use your wall now? You got one available. It's four versus two. Okay, that's a good shot from Chemicals onto Wardell. Still three alive, though. Brax, I think his barrel would have been shown there. Still gets a kill on the gang, so with a free gun upgrade as well. Not expecting too much oh, from Chemicals. Great. Here. That is an incredible shock dart down to 20 HP. Chemicals, timing gear, not great. The retake for T. But it was much sooner on into the round. Gangsta's going to once again the use drone. the Owl drone. It's copy paste. Wardell, does he get away from it this time? No, he doesn't. Two separate times, Wardell's taken the off outside B and found nothing with it. Sabrosa better flash this time, but it doesn't matter because Gangsta holds down the trigger for the elimination. Now on the cross, oh, shot up, ADS, tapping away, just down to Brax, 1v4. Every single time, you know, you think Wardell's going to get a kill here. Maybe he's on a really good app, but you, at TSM, they're going to do the strat where they put more users on A and they put more members over towards B and shot up to destroy Drone. Unreal. Even though there's a flash. I know exactly. How is happening again? B has just been completely dismantled. Wardell, you know, I was saying maybe hold on, but he's not had the best performance. And he's been pushed out. That's a solo 1v2 with a boombox that he wins both with. Flashes don't do enough. I, I mean... Shot up is just um, some other type of level today. They all are. Yeah, Everybody. I mean, for, yeah, for real. <laughs> TSM, I mean, at a certain point, you got to have to try to make one of these rounds come through. Here in round number 10, and that's an opening. Still a 3v4 situation. Gravity Well is going to slow things down definitively. But Brax Wardell find a couple more. Shot up, though, with his third elimination. Could be threatening for a potential ace. Brax on the way in. Shot up up top for the fourth. Looking for maybe number five at long range. Yep. 
Why not? I'm just going to clear Hooker now with the snake shell. Just keep trying to put a Totem Pole set up. And Totem Pole oh. set up is working well. So that's two kills. This is what TSM needs. All right. Opportunity to start getting things going. Rossi hasn't found much kill potential off the stage yet. But this could be an opportunity to start to show up. Gangster's going to open up a little bit of space as Sub Rosa falls. Lockdown defensively placed. And it really just comes down to what the world want to do to try to get out of this cutler. Good with the sheriff and the blades from behind. Allow TSM their fourth round in. Wardell, aggression. Just not today, man. It's just not his day. 0 oh, 3 from that angle. Jason Stanny, another show stopper for Immortals coming through. Shot does get taken down. Sabrosa for two. It keeps things relatively even. There has been a plot, which means it's even worse for Cutler. Uh, playing from behind, though. Should be a pretty free kill. And Can come back on the second half and pick up the pieces. Well, now we'll really get a true test here for TSM because offensively, you feel like this composition potentially do some wonders. But defensively, there's also a lot to kind of consider in. Well, as Wardell wanted to get aggressive with the shorty, he wasn't able to fully convert onto shot up. So it will be a 3v3 once everything is all said and done after the initial engagement. But TSM have gotten control of Elbow, which means that this spike plant will likely happen at B. Okay, uh, TSM. Uh, themselves a plant here. That's not a really rough loss for Sub Rose, though. That really hurts the numbers quite a fair bit. They know nothing's in Hookah from now. Well, they, I assume they would know that. There was a wall being placed. It's all three coming through from Immortals. Drone checking out Hookah as well. Both flesh from TSM and Octagon. Cover it. Rax already dealt. Oh my goodness. Shot up with these paint shells. He's found a number, but Drone lines up Collapse. too. Oh uh, no. I haven't really, I mean, I was going to say, do they need to do more work over towards A just to keep Immortals interested with there being four defenders? Right. Immortals have actually moved three over here. Here we go. It, look, it looks like some of the Astra Util from TSM is being deployed in A just to fake it out. And with Brax here as well, he's going to try and sell it. Yeah, he's shooting around, making it look like a full S straight away, TPing in. And Kem maybe does just enough to go one for one and shot up, chase Brax through the teleporter off screen. So now there are numbers for Immortals in the post plant for TSM. The only exit they have is through Elbow or deep through the Octagon. Shut up. Make his play through Hookah. 11 HP. Whoa, what in the world was that? Does eventually get taken down by Drone, but down to 9 HP. Oh, Gangsta spraying, praying, and having a pretty free to few. 11 for the tally. Shut up. Why not? Oh, okay. That's why not. Wardell gets the kill and then tries to dash away, but... JC is there for the trade, and he gets Cutler down to one, but some help, spam shots coming through, really for both sides, and as TSM get the spike planted, it is technically a 4v3, but you did see oh Cutler was down gosh. to 2HP, and Gangsta gets the shock start to convert the kill. Brax still keeping the numbers favorable for TSM's post plant, but Immortals, you feel like from this position just outside the connector, maybe can find an angle to work their way back in. It's gonna be Drone first, finds initial elimination, and the second, TSM able to find their fifth round. Oh, gosh, look at the combination. Just guessing off the gravity well. Oh, my goodness. Across the map, Gangsta actually tags another. I mean, it's just everything going right for Immortals right now. Yeah, they can't miss. I mean, just throwing blind, kind of blind. Hunter's Fury shots in there. Gets them what they need. But has got a blade storm here, so he hasn't bought. They're actually going to at least going to be able to work with. And this is the thing for for a team that's behind right now, having a jet here really does make uh, their day a little bit better. But not if Wardell Unreal. is going to miss those shots. He lands two of the knives. The third one won't connect. Him. Obviously, none onto the head. At least Jesse Sunny goes down to Brack, so this is still possible for TSM. Uh, Heat shells find so much value. The shock dart also comes through. I mean, the utility from Immortals has been lights out, but Brack still keeps things interesting. With that kill and a shot up, it's now a 2v3. But how much can Brax really do with his current health pool is the question. And maybe you have to commit here if you're Cutler. If you can get this plant off to go straight into the divide afterwards. Rossi playing up top. You're going to get Gangsta playing over through the link and still lurking over towards Look B. It's going to be Kem and yeah, time is a problem. you got to stick for a plant here. Unreal. No, they've lost. I mean, it's gonna get, it's gonna get planted, but there's no way he gets away from the spike. Unbelievable. There was one way they win that. You, you pointed out well, the good catch, by the way. You pointed out well, the one way they win that is they plant. Cutler gets the, you know, cosmic divide, and they. Really for both teams, because no you've got Rossi playing. 
and on the other side you got Brax. Mm -hmm. Hunter's Fury comes through. Wardell actually takes the use of it by finding elimination up close to the, the operator. Actually gets a tag on the shot up. Who goes over the top? He takes down the spike carrier and stays alive. What kind of finesse is that? Wardell though, oh, what he's the hell? really waking up as he finds another quick scope, but then the swap immediately to the classic for the third. It leaves Rossi in a 1v4. Oh my god, and I was gonna say, it's not that bad for Mortals yet, because Rossi can still get the res in here. Rossi probably plays this round anyway, look. TSM, seven rounds to make a comeback happen. This is one out of seven. I gotta say though, for Wardell, that was huge. He's finally hitting some op shots, jumping right click on the classic as well. That's the Wardell that you would expect to be able to show up. Rossi just playing for time and exits here. He'll wait till the final moment. Probably just died on some rows in terms of how much of a comeback they're still gonna do. To me, it seems like Waldell has been sleeping in. He's hit the snooze button for like every single round, pretty much for two maps. And then now he's like, oh crap, that's my alarm. Better wake up and he gets three kills. Is that enough life though, you wonder? Oh gosh. These are the most... <laughs> no, dude. How did he do that? No. What? No, no, no. No, Waldell, no. He, he got out of bed and just went straight back into it. <laughs> now JC plays ball coming through, but Gangsta just holding down the trigger gets the response. Oh no. Oh, and the paint shells. And the Bucky. Tracks nowhere to go.